Praise God, I hope it's uh, running. <laughs> it's so bright out here today. Hey man. And I can't even see. Hey man, it's running. And the magic jack's not on. <laughs> I pulled it out. Oh, praise God. I just uh, thought I'd come out here and, and share with you guys for a while. It's really beautiful out here. The sun's just shining. Any of you guys that are still on the East Coast not having a day like today, what can I say? <laughs> I'll pray for you and hope that old spring and summer comes and start to enjoy yourselves a little more. Uh, you know, I, I put that video out yesterday and had a little bit of trouble with the first one and we got to take the magic jack out and lost the audio. And, uh, you know, I... Uh, well, I just wanted to share some things, you know, and things that come through my mind and, and uh, you know, like my being up here right now for this period of time and visiting with my sister. I told you my sister's like five years older than I am, she's four years, she's 65, her husband's 75. And uh, they just got this uh, RV, it's, a, it's a, I think a 2002, it's a nice little RV. I could turn it around so you could see it, but um, it's new to them, okay? Uh, it's something they need to get acquainted with, and, and that's part of the reason I decided I'd go ahead and try to stay for a while with them, just a little longer, uh, until uh, dust settled and a few of the things that they needed to get straight and understand themselves, they'd know how to do, um, you know. But uh, Jim, Jim's getting... <laughs> Her uh, husband, he's, he, my brother-in-law, he's getting a little older, and uh, he's not as he doesn't remember things as well as he used to, you know, uh, as far as uh, current memory, you know, day-to-day -day stuff. A little maybe Alzheimer's or dementia, it's you know. <laughs> so, and then my sister, of course, uh, she has a lot of responsibilities regarding all that, and uh, I try to share with her. And it isn't just in this particular situation. I, I got to be honest with you. I found this to be true in a lot of the situations, which is, you know, I think some of us have a hard time being around other people. And I keep trying to understand just exactly what that's all about. Uh, and I'm not sure. That that all of you are going to understand exactly what it is that I'm saying or I'm referring to. Maybe some of you will. But it seems as though that if I'm around uh, a couple of people or a group of people for any period of time, there is just something about what I share with them, even just in everyday life, of which, you know, there'll be a situation or something come up you know how it is when you're there and I do the best I can not to you know say anything but you know you're there and you hear what they're saying and what they're planning on doing and it dawns on you well you know just you share what you know you share and basically what it turns out to be is that by the grace of God, you've been given an understanding that, you know, simplifies things uh, for them, even in their daily affairs, of which, for some reason, or other, they just don't seem to come into. And a lot of the problems that go on in this life, I'm sure, are connected to that. And, uh, and it's just really odd that, you know, for someone who doesn't participate in the things of this world or this life, uh, that an understanding of those things would be as clear as they are from time to time for me. And and yet for those who are participating in this life, uh, life and the things in it, yeah, it's like uh, they're almost clueless to the logical or simplest way of, of dealing with the situation. 
so it's really kind of strange, you know. And so the outcome is, is that I, I've noticed that some people get irritated, <laughs> you know. And so I really draw back and I, I uh, practice not sharing anything, you know. I, uh, I don't know what it's all about. I'm not quite certain exactly what, you know, that all really amounts to. But it, I know it's, uh, it's caused a great deal of isolation on my part out of uh, concern that, uh, you know, you want to share the love of God. You want to you wanna, uh, help them in any way you can. But when you do, uh, more than once or twice or two or three times, or for over a period of two or three weeks, when you're visiting someone, which you're a part of their household, you're a part of their conversation, I don't know how you don't, you wouldn't participate, but nonetheless, uh, amen Jesus, uh, that's what takes place. Uh, you participate and you share what I believe is in the spirit, because here's the thought that crossed my mind. Lean not upon your own understanding. Now, I take that quite literally. I, I don't lean upon my own understanding about anything. But uh, I rely totally and completely upon the Word of God and the leading of the Holy Spirit to help me discern of the truth in all things. In all things. So if I'm having a conversation with somebody, I'm in prayer before the Father. I place that before Him in the Holy Spirit, in the Spirit of God. Expecting by faith, all right, at this point in my life, I don't even think twice about it. Uh, that's how expectant that I am. That whatever it is that I bring before the Father in my life, or, or that comes before me in not only my life, but the lives of those that are around me, amen, Jesus, that the Father's going to provide the answer. His understanding. He's going to give us, give me his understanding regarding that. And I can assure you that, uh, no, this is not absolutely, you know, because I don't always get it straight, uh, what it is the Father's sharing. I'm getting better at it uh, as years pass on. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm learning how to discern more and more of what he's saying to me and what I'm hearing. But for the most part, okay, I, uh, not being too big-headed because it hasn't got anything to do with me yeah, other than for the fact that as we mature in the Spirit, of course we're going to share communication with the Father often enough in the Spirit that we begin to get pretty good at hearing and receiving. Okay, because we're listening. We have the ears to hear. So, amen. Uh, my brother's getting ready to pull up now. Brother-in-law. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I, there's a tendency for people to get aggravated and upset with the fact that, you know, and then I feel as though, well, geez, you know, I should have just let them do what they were going to do the way they were going to do it and not interfere, not say anything. And then what do you do when something happens? Because you didn't say anything, yet you knew better. That's a rough spot to be in, okay? <laughs> it's kind of a tough, especially when it's people that you love and care about. And really, that's the way it should be for all. You know, we should feel that way and care that way for all. And uh, so I'm, I guess I'm just sharing this today, okay? I, I share a lot about uh, what I believe is the truth according to the Word of God with you uh, on these videos. And now and then, I just think it's, it's a... It's a natural part, <laughs> spiritually speaking, a natural part uh, of uh, sharing my personal life as well, from day to day. Uh, so, yeah, here he goes now. Uh, praise God. So, um, that's what I'm doing today, sharing a little bit of that. And uh, So, anything that you might want to say uh, and share back in comments, I'd sure read accept and receive with the blessings of God. Concerning that, maybe some of your own, uh, I don't know, things that have happened with you. Uh, 
Okay, he's got. It looks like we've got uh, another lady. This lady, uh, I think it's the real estate lady, who's been helping them on some property issues they got out here. So I tell you what, until uh, I know exactly what's going on, I'm probably going to go ahead and cut this off and uh, get back with you guys later on and share a little bit more later on. Amen, Jesus. I pray you're having a blessed day in the Lord. Amen. All right. Praise God. Still recording, is it? <laughs> hey, I'll put it back. Picture's a little clearer in here, Eddie. It's really, really bright out there. Well, listen, I'm going to let you go. Amen. Praise the Lord.